Hi, I'm Paul Rivera with the Audi Club, and we're here with Johnny Reyes, Chief Technical Instructor at the Audi Academy in Ontario, California. And Johnny's going to take us to the brand new A4 and show us some of the great new features and technology of this amazing car. One of the new things with the V6, uh, it's still a 3.2. One of the newest things we have out is the variable cam timing. Um, this is the camshaft. And you can see here, it's not only just variable cam timing, but it's also variable lift. So you can see here, there are two different profiles of, of uh, cam lobes. Uh, when you start out from idle up to about 4,000 RPM, it's on the small lobe. Once you go over 4,000 RPM, it switches to the larger lobe. The larger lobe, more duration, more air, more power um, at top end. So, and then when you come back to idle, you have a um, smaller lobe, less duration, for better I idle characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is this is technology so shared on any other Audi product? Um, yes, th it is. Actually, with the B8, um, there's another engine we have. It's the, the four-cylinder, which is on that uh, rack over there. But it's on the exhaust side. They're using it here on this engine. We're using it on the intake side. On that engine, we're using it on the exhaust side to help control emissions, help control turbo boost, um, torque. So here, another feature of this camshaft is that the lobes are staggered. They're not exactly in the same location. You can see here, one starts here, one starts over here. One is actually larger than the other. By doing this, they're actually able to start this um, uh, tumble effect. They call that, uh, you know, um, on, on previous engines, there was an intake uh, flap that created the tumble. Now they can do it with the camshaft. So this gets the air stirred up as it's being drawn into the engine. And when they inject the fuel, it actually starts to mix with the fuel and air. It's a really good atomization. So you have lower, um, you have lower emissions, better combustion, um, more power out of it. So you know, a lot of benefits to doing that. Well, this this solenoid, that solenoid. If you look, it's located here. right here. Yeah. Okay. There are two oh, per cylinder. Solenoid. Yeah. There's a track here that this solenoid actually goes into as the camshaft is turning you can see there's a switch over point right here as it switches over it will move the camshaft one way and then uh, it will change it to a different load on the other side it's the same exact thing so all they have to do is act, actuate, actuate the other uh, solenoid and they'll switch it back so it's just two solenoids here per cylinder Johnny, tell us about the active suspension. Uh, here's the solenoid, right? Okay. That, uh, little... On the base of the shock. Mm -hmm. There's also, uh, each corner has one, right? There's also a level sensor here that's the, uh, the input. For so the this suspension. is like a potentiometer that's being, yes. or a digital encoder? Yeah. Um, We've, we've had these for a number of years with the uh, active suspension with the uh, TT vehicles. The magnetic, well, the magnetic also has it, uh, Q7s. but, but uh, Q7s with the uh, air, air ride and, and, and A8s. And A8s. And A8s. Yeah, okay. so, so it's a proven so part. It's a proven part, yes. And uh, it's been, yeah, we've had these for quite some time, but this is what gives the, feed, the feedback to the control module to um, adjust the dampener here. Mm -hmm. and, and it's on a real-time basis, isn't it? Because yeah. it's getting direct road input. So this gives the feedback for the suspension, for the suspension yeah. electrically. Shows the level. Shows the level. And then this is the solenoid here, which is actually controlling the damping amount, the variable damping. Wow. So, yeah, pretty simple. Um, independently controlled, right? There's, there's all a four control wheels module, all four independent. wheels, yeah. Um, it also uh, has some input to the CAN bus, which also gets information from ESP and ABS. Uh, so, you know, depending on what type of braking or if you're going into a turn or, you know, there's, uh, it will also control the dampening um, for handling controls as well. Sure. Now this car, uh, the reason for this is because this car has the, uh, um, the Audi uh, Drive Select mm -hmm. and the Drive Select is also programmable uh, mm -hmm. depending on there's an individual uh, setting that you can set up and you through can the have MMI. it through the MMI. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, there's also a dynamic setting and there's also a comfortable setting and an automatic setting. So um, each setting will uh, uh, 
um, feature a different type of uh, dampening effect.